So I've had this denim jacket that I'm wearing right here. I've had this thing for about, I don't know, I was 18 when I got it, 2013. So what's the math on that? Seven years? Wow. And the reason I bought it, I discovered Alpha M uh, back when he was Alpha M Image Consulting back in those days. And so I started to, dis I discovered like what it meant to be in shape, what it meant to dress well, what it meant to carry yourself with a sense of confidence that spoke like when you walk into a room, you demand like attention. You demand that you are important, you are somebody to reckon with. Uh, I don't know exactly what video it was, but it was like way back in the day, 2013 or so, 14, when he said he gave basically a top five items you should have in your wardrobe. And one of them was a denim jacket. Honestly, when I first bought it, I was a little nervous to wear it. I didn't really want to wear it because I'm, I'm used to wearing like blue jeans and stuff. Um, but, I, but I ended up buying it and then I actually didn't wear it for like a year, maybe even two. I don't know, but I've had it. It's just sitting in my closet and I was about to get rid of it, but I decided not to um, because that right there. This is Sora's Keyblade and I found this in Hot Topic or something and I decided to pop it in there. I popped it in there. And then since then, actually in this too, when I was young and in college, I just took this little thing right here and clipped it on. And since then, it just kind of turned into this like collection, this little like, this this gallery of pins and, and things that, I don't know, things that mean something to me. And I've actually seen a lot of artists, a lot of people painting on the back of them. And so like, that's one place that doesn't have any sort of customization is the very back i think it's time i think it's time oh i'm so nervous <laughs> this is the oldest piece of material this is the oldest piece in my wardrobe minus like high school memorabilia but oh man so i'm gonna do this i'm super nervous about it i don't even know what i'm gonna do let's do oh car's in the way car's coming gotta move <laughs> let's Let's paint. So most people complain about this part of the process where it's like you get some white paint and I actually watered mine down with some water and just kind of mixed it up and got it nice and thin so where to lay into the fabric and all. And again, most people will complain and say that this is the most boring part because it's like not much is happening. But for me, I managed to make do you know what i mean so i i put on some i just sat there and i was mentally prepared first off that this was going to be a little ride you know a little little thing so i put some youtube videos on the tv was watching a lot of like denim jacket painting tutorials and then in the background i just had that in the background and then you know i was just really in the zone and yeah i was just I don't know, I just enjoy the painting process, the idea of just the, the motion of the brush back and forth. That's what really, I learn. I learned how to really absorb into that process. And so that helped me just kind of carry up and out to the next step. Yeah, banana. Yeah, it's banana. I don't want it, baby. Pick it up. I forgot to record the initial process of me painting the Hunt Studio up top. But I was thinking more like along the lines of like a jersey with, you know, when you play sports, you got the last name and then the number here on the on there. So I was thinking like the Hun Studio and the, the cross, you know exactly who this is when you see me pass by. You know what I mean? Y'all. So I have a few, um, I took, 
Some time ago, I took apart my Letterman jacket from high school. I like, I went to, I wanted to throw it away because it wasn't really, I wasn't wearing it. And, but I didn't want to get rid of it completely, you know, because I wanted to hold on to the memory and all of it. But, so what I did is I actually ripped off all of the patches, right? So I ripped the patches off and decided to keep them. And I figured I would do something with them. And today I think, <laughs> I think we found, I think we found something. We figured something out. Let's see what it, let's see what this turns out to be. For some context, the number 17, right? The one, the patch, the patch, right? It's my favorite number. It's my favorite number and it has been for a very, very long time. I'm talking the t-ball days. This was my, this was my number when I played t-ball, baseball, football, all of it, all the way up until high school. That was my sports number, right? And the reason being is because I used to, when I was a kid, before I even could play sports, I would go watch my dad play. He would play softball, and of course, what number did he wear? He, wear, he wore number 17. So, of course, naturally, what I did is I adopted his number. And so I think, I don't know, it's a good, cool way to remember, you know, just, just it's a good... I don't know, it just makes me feel good. The number brings really good memories, very fond memories of me playing ball, of my mom, of my dad, just a bunch of memories with this number tied in. And I think it's a perfect way to just kind of incorporate it into this jacket that has come, it's become like something that means so much to me and I figured it's a good way to tie this in. Also, I want to, I still have yet to figure out what in the world am I about to do with the rest of it? Now I've got the number put down. I've got, you know, I've got, I've got this part figured out. But I don't know as far as like the painting. I don't know what in the world I'm gonna do. As far as, am I gonna paint a character on it? Am I gonna do some abstract doodling on it? I don't know yet. I have no idea. I don't know what this is turning into. But I really don't want to force it. You know what I mean? I want this thing to just kind of come to me while I'm working on it, while I'm just doing the art part. The art part. I just want it to come to me, you know? And I have all the faith that it'll come full circle and it's gonna look awesome. We're gonna let this dry and in the meantime, I'm gonna figure out something else to do. Might clean up, might take some time to spend some time with my little boy. At this point of the process, we broke out the Posca pins, and with Asher's help, we managed to draw some little characters in the bottom left corner. I drew a little face here. And actually what happened is I needed some inspiration, right? So I had some I wanted to put some depth into the piece, into the just to kind of solidify it as and make it recognizable as mine. And so I actually referred back to my old sketchbooks and was just flipping through my sketchbooks kind of silently, just kind of doing my thing flipping through them and then just like the pieces that strike me or struck me as like you know either made me laugh or it just left a good impression still today those are the ones that I went with and so this character was just like a little scribbly scratchy character in one of my previous sketchbooks and up at the top right corner I just drew some like abstract triangles and just random shapes just to kind of solidify the whole piece The painting is done, <sighs> finally, it's, it's done. And I think the only thing left to do to finish out this project is to take this, this number and stencil it, stencil it onto the back of the jacket and then it'll finally be done. This portion of it, anyway. Obviously I might even, I don't know what I'm gonna do in the future with it, I have no idea. But this is getting stitched onto this, onto the back and it'll be done.
that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed along this this far, look. Can you see it all the way? I've been wanting to do this for so long. Oh my gosh, I've been <laughs> I've been wanting to do this, and I finished it just in time. Like fall's coming around, just around the corner, and it's gonna do what it does. And this is gonna keep me, you know, right at the perfect body temperature, right? So. A couple things to note, I suppose. Look, check this out. I am painting my pants. What I'm doing with these pants is as I'm painting, doing like different paint projects, I'm like taking my brush and slapping it on my knees, just bow, 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 slapping it around. And what happens is, I mean, this collective, like, it looks like, I don't know, it looks cool. I think it's neat. So what I'm going to do is eventually once it like, clogs up with paint it just gets to the point where no more paint can get put on there i'm gonna like do some customization to it maybe like do something similar to this and then have a whole like painted outfit and then maybe maybe i might even sell these or i don't know i might get a new pair do something now i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i have no idea but if you want your jacket painted let me know because i'll do it up for you I can take these as commissions and do these all day long because I had so much fun with this. This is great. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe please. And I've got a lot of cool projects coming up. I got a pretty big commission, actually the biggest commission that I've ever been commissioned to do. I got paid today to do it. And so that's happening very soon. Lots of projects coming up hopefully. So uh, life is taking a bit of a turn for me, a bit of a directional thing and I'm gonna kind of take you along as as it happens so i don't know what's i don't know so enjoy peace see ya see ya